Welcome to our celebration of the class of 2020. I'm Kathleen Jenkins, the chair of the sociology department. Later in this digital ceremony, you'll meet the rest of our faculty who've been working with these graduates over the last few years. In 1959, sociologist C. Wright Mills made clear that all are invited into the sociological imagination and that to develop such an imagination means working to understand how personal biography, history, global politics, and societies are interconnected. This imagination, he said, is in many ways a terrible lesson and in many ways a magnificent one. Mills reminds us that by by just living, we contribute, however minutely, to the shaping of this society and to the course of its history, even as we are made by society and its historical push and shove. You didn't choose the circumstances of your graduation or the world that we face today where we see inequalities deepening and multiplying in this pandemic, but you do have the imagination and transformative power to make change, to reshape the world, You've been trained to collect and analyze diverse sources of qualitative and quantitative data that can help us understand the challenges that we face. And you've been trained to boldly ask the hard questions and provide answers that demonstrate the importance of equity as a guiding value in public policy. Many of you graduating today have already put these skills into practice during your time at William & Mary. You've conducted research and advocated for evidence-based approaches to equity in the local school board. You've designed and participated in partnerships with local schools that center on issues of justice, equity, and inclusion. You've partnered with communities abroad, and you have written and presented original papers at conferences that addressed highly complex theoretical debates. The sociology faculty and I want to express deep gratitude for all that you have given us as students. Dedication to the sociological imagination, creativity, kindness, intellectual depth, and deep community engagement and activism. This is an historical moment when a sociology degree and the magnificence and disquieting characteristics of a sociological imagination are invaluable. You are endowed with the intellectual tools and profound passion to be an advocate of change, to make a difference. The critical skills and high ethical standards that you leave Morton Hall with are qualities that leaders need in this time of uncertainty, and you've developed them through your major. Your voice will continue to be powerful in ever broadening and deepening what the sociological imagination is about. Congratulations to all of you, and I hope that you will return this next fall so that we can celebrate together in person, that you'll always stay in touch as you move forward, write to us with your accomplishments, and tell us your stories of your sociological imaginations in action. It is my distinct honor today to present the Jean A. Ito Award to Maya Farr Henderson. The Ito Award is given annually at commencement to recognize a graduating sociology major who demonstrates the love of sociology, scholarship, and service that characterized our student and colleague for whom this award is named. Maya is an exemplar of the spirit of this award. What makes Maya stand out is not just her love of the discipline of sociology, but her embrace of its discomfort of the challenges and tough questions it raises for one who's motivated by social justice work. Maya has been involved in SPADE, the Student Partnership for Aid and International Development, during her time at William & Mary, which is involved in international partnership with a rural community in Ghana. What has struck me over the years is how Maya has taken sociology courses that have posed tough questions for the complex power dynamics uh, involved in these kinds of international partnerships. And she has taken these questions, even turned them into her honors thesis, and used them as a lens to improve and evaluate SPADE. These are tough sociological questions. Can student-led organizations address deeply historical structural inequalities? Should this type of work even move forward? 
And these questions are tougher still when you tra train your gaze on your own efforts and struggles to do meaningful work. For me, these are the signs of someone deeply committed to justice as always unfinished work, as something to always be strived for and perfected, with the help of a sociological lens, of course. And these are signs of a true leader, self-reflective, humble, willing to be uncomfortable. We are so proud of you, Maya, and thrilled to honor you with this award. Strong and true and true and clear, all my lost is love they're telling, ringing far and near. William and Mary, loved of old, hark upon the care, hear the thunder of our chorus, our mama her This to so dark Bless the college of our fathers That will never die and they loved of old Hark upon the gale Hear the thunder of our chorus Of a mother hail William and Mary loved of old Upon the gale, hear the thunder of our chorus, Alabaster Hail. Hark the students' voices swelling, strong and true and true and clear. All my martyrs love their telling, ringing far and near. This to do so dark, bless the college of our fathers, that will never die. William and Mary, loved of old, hark upon the gale. Ringing far and near, William and Mary, 
Sociology department was one of the first places I felt I belonged at William and Mary. It was inspiring and encouraging to find a community of people passionate about activism and social justice, which coincidentally was the first social class I ever took at William and Mary. Thank you so much to all the sociology students and faculty for making the department feel like home. Choosing to make sociology my academic home was without a doubt the best choice that I made in college. I am so thankful to all of the professors I met who developed me as a student and to my peers and classmates who I met through the sociology department and built relationships with. As we know, the future is a little bit fuzzy given the current corona crisis, but I'm planning to take my sociology training with me as I pursue further education with public health. Thank you so much for giving me such a strong foundation to pursue my next steps. In June, I'm beginning a job as a summer educator at the Montreal Museum of Science in Norwich, Vermont. I'm really excited to be teaching first and second graders and learning more about environmental education. As a next step, I'll be looking for an AmeriCorps position or a fellowship in the realm of sustainability or farming education, and I'm really excited to apply everything I've learned as a sociology student. I am so grateful to the sociology department for four very interesting and fun years, and I'm looking forward to coming back to Williamsburg in October. Hi, I'm Sam Huffman. First, I'm thankful for the sociology department for encouraging me to think critically every single day of my three years of William & Mary. Second, I'm thankful for being able to be introduced into the urban studies and urban sociology realm. And next year, I'll be obtaining my master's in city design and social science at the London School of Economics. Leaving William & Mary is a bittersweet transition. However, I'm glad to say that I can carry on pursuing a career in elementary education to serve as an advocate for closing the gap in educational equity, including students equal access to quality educational resources and teachers. I am immensely grateful for the tools given to me by the sociology community here at William & Mary, and I can't wait to carry on the tradition of making a difference both on and off campus. I would like to thank the sociology department, faculty, and staff for my time at William & Mary. I took a course in the subject my freshman year, not knowing I would be a major, and was captivated. I'm grateful for the opportunities I have been granted, and I'm excited to use the tools I have learned in my future endeavors. I believe that sociology connects people and lives together, and I hope to use this as I work towards my future career in news and broadcasting. Thank you, William & Mary. Hi, it's Liz. So after graduation, I'm actually staying at William & Mary for grad school. I'll be at the School of Education for the School Psychology Program, which I'm really excited about. After that, I hope to take a year off and travel or do a working holiday visa somewhere. And my favorite sociology memory is probably a tie between our field study activity in qualitative sociology and writing my literature review for my capstone course. I actually had a lot of fun doing that. And my favorite sociologist is Bordeaux. Hi, I'm Ellie Wiles. I self-designed my major in health and human rights, but a huge component of that was sociology. My experiences with the social department helped me find what I was passionate about and explore those topics in depth. So huge thank you to my social professors and especially to my advisor, Professor Sahoni. Moving forward, I'm hoping to get my MPH, uh, my master's in public health, and to ultimately study disease distribution among forcefully displaced communities.
I wish I could say this in person. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. I send you all my best and to your friends and family out there. We all in the sociology department apologize if your selection of a major has ruined watching movies with you forever. Anyway, keep that sociological imagination going and come back next fall so we can celebrate in person. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, sociology majors. We're so proud of you. Good luck and keep in touch. From the front of the lovely Morton Hall, I give you my sincere congratulations. Congratulations to the sociology class of 2020. Yay! Congratulations, graduates. You did it. Hello, class of 2020 graduates. I want to congratulate you on your remarkable achievement. You have survived theory and stats, your capstones, and now, unfortunately, the coronavirus. But you have succeeded. I want to, we all wish we could congratulate you in person, but until then, congratulations and our best wishes for your future endeavors. Class of 2020, 2020 congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you all the very best. Congratulations. I am so happy that you are in our future. Down, three, two, one. Woo!